Hi. I'm a woman with stick, John Sargent. A lot of my work is about living with Parkinson's because it's important to me that people understand Parkinson's. And art can be a very shorthand way of telling people things that they might never think to question, things that they don't even know that they don't understand. So when you look at a painting like this, what does it tell you about life with Parkinson's? What does it tell you about the emotions? If you look really carefully, you can see that they aren't brush strokes. One of the things it tells you is that sometimes my hands are too bad to use brushes. So I use tea bags, kitchen roll, scrunched up tissues, I dab paint on. It shows you that sometimes perhaps with Parkinson's you're not quite sure who you are anymore. The old you has faded in some ways. It's not quite the same person anymore. That's not to say that you're not the same person anymore, but there are aspects which are very different. And sometimes I hear people with Parkinson's say that they've lost friends because of that, because some people can't cope with the changes that come with Parkinson's. More importantly, what doesn't this painting tell you about Parkinson's? It doesn't tell you about the cognitive difficulties, the way in which you find it difficult, some people, to assimilate information as quickly as you used to. The way in which some people are unable to drive anymore because of that, because you just can't get to grips with all the different things that you have to do all at the same time. It's just too fast, it's too demanding. They don't tell you, this painting maybe, doesn't tell you about the constipation, it doesn't tell you about the incontinence that some people have. It doesn't tell you because you put five or six people in the same room, each of whom have Parkinson's, and they will have different symptoms. They'll be on different medication regimes. It's a very, very exclusive kind of disease in that respect because it's not one size fits all. And that's why it's so difficult for specialists sometimes to get the medication right. Medication which in itself has horrible side effects. Medication that you know ultimately will cease to be as effective. We all know what the end result is for Parkinson's. The question is the journey that we take to get there. Why is so much of my work about Parkinson's? Because I want you to ask questions. I want you to understand. It's not an old person's disease. It's not shuffling old men with a tremor. It can affect any age. It can take many different forms. And the only constants at the moment are that it's incurable and it's progressive and it's vicious and it changes lives for the person diagnosed and the people who live with them. Look at my art, ask questions. Then it's achieved what I want it to. Thank you.